Well, it's another day in boat paradise. Uh, anybody that's uh, ever done this kind of project before definitely understands the sarcasm in that one. But uh, they say slow and steady wins the race. Well, I've definitely got the slow and steady part down. Got good news and bad news today. Uh, good news is I got two of the bulkheads cut, dry fitted in, and uh, really happy. They turned out perfect. Uh, I did my notch idea, which I'll show you here in a minute. But uh, the bad news is um, got those two bulkheads in. Want to do the inside stringers that run each side of the ski locker up to the bow. And um, went to go grab my laptop, opened it up, was gonna look at some pictures, kind of refresh my memory, and turn the power on, and uh, it just kind of looks at me. Uh, it says hard disk drive failure, cannot find something. But I uh, called a friend of mine, a computer guy, he said he's gonna look at it and see, but when I told him he said it didn't sound good. So, all those pictures everybody takes <laughs> to remember where everything goes, um, make copies or back it up somewhere else. That's definitely some good advice. But uh, let me show you what I got done and uh, let's go from there. You can see there is the back bulkhead that is in. That's the rear of the gas tank. And uh, I did my notch idea. I left a piece out here so I can show you. I took the stringer all the way across and we notched it. I took the rest of the notch and put it into the uh, each side of the stringers and then voila it simply just match on each side I haven't done this one handed with a camera yet there we go and that's how it's done and they're in there and um, I wasted some plywood but what I did was if you see that edge there you can see the blue it's a dead giveaway it's the existing uh, side of the piece of plywood. That way I knew that that whole top piece would be completely true. I did the same thing on this one, so I used one side of plywood for that one, and then one side on this one. You know, I can make some of the smaller bulkheads in the front with it, uh, so it's not like a huge waste, but I really felt like it was worth it to make sure that whole top piece was very true. Um, <clears throat> now it's on to the front, on to what I'm worried about. Without being able to see pictures, I cannot decide if, um, these inside stringers, when I say inside, you know, the outsider here, it's not but about six inch separation. But let me get my little pointer here. From the back, all right, the front of the gas tank, you can see a line. There's some of the old material. I left that lip there so I could, you know, follow it and drop fit it. When I get up to the front up here, um, I can't decide, I can't remember if they stopped here or not. I came here if they stopped and they were right there, you know, with the outside stringers, or if they went on up to where level would be with the deck. And you know, I drew my line there so I knew where level would be. And um, sorry, I just heard something out in the woods there. And um, so I didn't know if I should bring them up to here and stop them, um, and keep the bulkhead back here. Just have the stringers run up to there and stop, or if I should just take and you know stop them right here, even with these, and put a bulkhead across. Um, and set the cap on and then take and build these pieces in place. Now these pieces, when I say pieces, they go from where the very top up here is. This is that part where the front of the seats are. Um, you know, the deck height is actually from here down to where you can see this original lip here. There's the original lip of the deck height. That was like a little cleat the front of it sit on. And um, just build all those in place because it looks like that's the way it was. And this channel here, this channel, let me see if I can get down closer and really see it. There's the channel. You can see all plywood all the way down to the bottom. And I can see earlier, I dug it out, but I can see earlier where it stopped right there. So I don't know if that's where I cut it because you can see I've ground this area behind here. Um, I'm not sure. My, I guess my biggest question is should I stop it here even with this one? Should I take it on up to deck height? Um, but then that presents a problem. Yes, you can get the floor in. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking kind of thing as I go through this, but you get the floor in, the floor can go all the way around. Um, or you just take and build these pieces out of plywood once the cap is on, you know, because this piece comes all the way up underneath the cap, and then put some cleats on the side. So that'd be the two choices. Um, put them right here and stop them, bulkhead straight across. Then once I get the cap on, put these pieces in, build them up as high as they need to go, put cleats on it. Or should I extend these front stringers all the way up to where it's level with the deck? Um, yep, that was one of the two choices. Probably not as clear as I'd like to be, but as clear as mud, as I've heard a lot of people say. But um, I just want to get you guys' opinion on what you thought on that. Uh, without my pictures, I'm kind of uh, kind of shooting in the dark, so to speak. But um, that's where I am, and uh, you know, just take the good with the bad and roll with it. And um, 
That's, uh, that's the life of owning a boat, I've always heard. Guys, I appreciate everything. Look forward to your comments.